bored during quarantine? Got nothing to do but play games? Maybe you want to cut your hair? Or maybe even your bangs? Or do you want to shave your eyebrows? Well, I can't really show you how to cut hair, but I can totally show you how I shave my eyebrows and give you tips on how I draw them back on. So this is about a week's worth of growth for my eyebrows, but I usually shave either half of my brow or the whole thing. But lately, I've just been shaving all of them. I'm using shaving cream right now, but you can just use soap or conditioner as long as that area is wet and you're not just shaving with dry skin. Make sure you use a clean razor and then just shave against the opposite side of the of the hair growth. Because I didn't have that much hair to begin with, it was actually pretty easy for me to just shave them off completely. Um, and like I said, I was only growing them out just so that I could show them in this video just how quickly they grow. But I like to keep them shaved. If it's your first time shaving them off, it might be a little bit harder. You might want to try this method instead where you just shave off the tip it's definitely a new way for beginners to start off and to get used to the idea of shaving parts of your brows or your brows completely and learning how to draw them back on. And I've actually noticed that this trend of cutting just the tip of your brows is has beca has gotten pretty popular lately. I think it's because a lot of people have been trying new like eyebrow trends and it's pretty simple to get pretty creative when you have more space to work with. Now I'm going to show you guys how I draw some pretty natural eyebrows. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with a foundation layer as a base, just because I don't like to add my pomade before adding anything underneath. So we're just going to do this foundation layer first, make sure that you blend that out. I actually do um, a few layers of foundation just because it kind of gets that shadow that shaving leaves behind. And I really like to get rid of that. Now that our base is ready, we're going to move on to actually doing the eyebrow. And it's kind of hard at first to draw a whole eyebrow from scratch, but you could totally follow the the shape of your natural brow cuz I'm pretty sure you could still you'll still be able to tell where it should go even if you shave it off. But I actually like to do mine a little bit higher just because I like to have more space on my eyelid for your eyeshadows and stuff. You can use whatever eyebrow product you're comfortable with. I'm just using e.l.f. Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Espresso and I'm actually going to use a little bit of my favorite black eyeshadow just to darken the end of the eyebrow a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And as you guys can see, that's the final shape that I came up with. It was looking a little messy at first, but honestly that's nothing that um, carving and some foundation won't be able to fix. So yeah, make sure you have a shape that you're happy with before you start carving. And to carve, you just take a small brush, dip it into your foundation, and just make sure you get as close to the eyebrow without actually touching the, the pomade or the shadow. And just use it to clean it up and make it look a little bit more realistic and nice. Carving is honestly one of my favorite steps because I feel like it makes a huge difference. And like I said, it also helps you clean up any mistakes you might have made. And once you're done with that, you are done with your eyebrow. You could of course use lighter colors and maybe um, a dark brown eyeshadow instead of the black if you have maybe lighter hair. But because I have black hair, a dark brown and black works for me. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do the famous Instagram eyebrow. Do the same foundation process and then we're going to take the same pomade and instead of um, dragging it down once you're reaching the, the arch, you're going to want to keep going up. That way it looks lifted. And that's what's going to give it the illusion of like those pointy lifted brows. And of course you want to fill it in with the pomade um, and then you want to darken it with a little bit of eyeshadow black eyeshadow so it might take a little while to get the hang of doing this um like easily but it really just depends on how much you practice if you practice often you'll get the hang of it in no time because it's actually pretty simple and so i also did some carving because like i said it's my favorite thing to do but overall the process it's always the same and it's super simple you can literally change it to whatever eyebrow shape you feel like doing that day and like I said, I really recommend um, just shaving off the tips at first 
uh, for beginners if like you're interested in trying different shapes do the the eyebrow that I did on the left but if you want to just do the whole thing you can always do the eyebrow I did on the right and there's so many types of eyebrows you can do here is another example of some other eyebrow shapes that I did a very thin one and a very pointy one so that's some fun stuff but I mean of course you can also um, I try to do like more natural ones. He's here's kind of like an Audrey Hepburn, Ariana Grande, um, straight eyebrow. And also, of course, you don't even have to do a normal color. You can literally do whatever color. I used eyeshadow to do that pink brow. And yeah, I actually chose to keep the pink brows for the rest of my look. And I finished doing my makeup. And then I went outside for a little smoke break. But anyway, if you've been too afraid to try something new with your eyebrows, just remember, a small patch of hair on your forehead does not define you. Try something new, live a little, be creative. Life is way too short to just be too afraid to literally shave a little patch of hair that's gonna grow back. So yeah, I encourage you guys to try to get creative and have some fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for the support. Bye!